It's the, it's the Hilton, the Ritz, the Carlton of camping equipment. All right guys, David, Humble Trekker Channel. How are you doing today? The German Army sleeping bag, the classic armed walkable. Back in the day, the 80s, I remember it, it was the ultimate survival pod. Festivals, touring, camping, stegging out wherever you are. It was the one man survival pod. Let's have a look into it and see if it still stands up in the 21st century. Bundled up, it's like this. You've got a couple of poppers here. You can make it a little bit tighter, but it's actually pretty difficult. It's a bit cumbersome to get it really down in a small package. So often I don't know, uh, I've not wrapped it up enough to actually close those poppers. But you've got webbing bands that come around and end in these figure eight clasps, which do the whole thing up and hold it very securely, tightly uh, wrapped up. There's a carrying handle here. As you see, it's kind of like shaped perfectly to go on uh, the top of your rucksack really and um, a lot of it's made out of this heavy waterproof nylon material and yes it's very bloody heavy so you get to your rendezvous of choice and you're thinking oh it looks like it might rain a bit it's getting a bit cold and I really want to sleep but I really want to be able to get up quickly and move around so I need a tent a jacket rain clothes uh, but then you realise, no, I've got a German army sleeping bag. I've got all of those resources in one handy, not so handy, package. And you open it up and you're ready to go in seconds. If your fingers are cold, you're not ready to go in seconds because those metal buckles, they're tight. And you've got your raincoat, your warm coat, your sleeping bag, your tent, and you can walk around in it. I laid it on the ground so you can get the, the bird's eye view of it. You've got two hoods. You've got a padded hood, and then you've also got the what is turns into the container when you wrap it up, which is the, the waterproof hood. The center, the chest area from here to here, and all the way down your, like your crutch area, this part, goes down here this is not so waterproof this is just like a, a padded uh, nylon material not so waterproof but the rest of it the arms the back down to the bottom is the the heavy waterproof material i guess they've left this area uh, so it can breathe a little bit so you don't base yourself in it center line zip pop us to cover up so you've got a covering over the zip stop the wind coming through uh, a draw cord here so you can tie it around your your throat keep the air keep the cold air out and it's got ear holes here so you can hear things or put um, headphones on moving down to where you basically your knees would be there's another zip here which you can zip up and then you've got a slot so you can wear it as a coat there's straps here you tie them around and then you can poke your legs out and walk around in it. So here I'm rocking it in coat mode. Gets a little bit chilly. Put the hood up. You tie it around the waist. You unzip it. And then you can walk around in it. The magic of it is when you're out bivy and you can be sitting around the campfire. You've got your coat on, which is your sleeping bag. It could be raining a little bit, it doesn't matter. Because it's uh, waterproof. You're sitting there, you're keeping warm. And then you think, oh, now it's time for me to go to bed. You know, normally you have to get out, get in your sleeping bag, bloody bloody blah, big pain in the neck. No, not with this puppy. You undo your waist straps. You pull it around. Get your feet in it. If you're not a total monster, you probably take your shoes off first. Zip her up. Do the zip. I'm gonna lose my mic now. Cocoon yourself in. 
the big rain hood up. And boom! Sleeping like a baby! In that dreaded moment in the night, you know, when you've got to go, your bladder fills up. Normally you have to pull, you get yourself out of your sleeping bag, get out, get cold. Not with this, unzip it, walk off, do the business, get right back in. It's the, it's the Hilton, the Ritz, the Carlton of camping equipment. The one man pod for luxury in the woods. I literally bought this German army sleeping bag when I was a teenager. This is over 30, well, I've had it over 30 years. So is it a robust bit of kit? Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, there's a couple of labels on it for interest. There's this, uh, Raka, gross free, size free, I guess that means. And on the other side, it's got in German, the cleaning instructions. Warmth factor wise, it's not a winter bag, it's a two season bag, potentially a three season bag. Uh, so if you do go out in the winter with it, you're probably gonna need warm, warm layers underneath to keep you comfortable. Are they still available? I Googled and it does look like there's a couple of places still selling these German army uh, sleeping bags. They've got a great amount of practicality. I just wanted to show it to you so that you're aware of it. Until the next time, take it easy.